Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say this is Intervlog, and I am here once more. I'm here because there is one important information that I brought to you today, and this information is amazing. I say it is amazing because this is the first time something like this is happening in Africa. We have never seen anything like this in Africa. And I say, may glory be to God for what is happening to continue, because what is happening in Burkina Faso is needed in all African countries. And you would ask me, what is that? Well, Ibrahim Traoré has a refunded money to two international mining companies in Burkina Faso, and this is the first time African country has refunded money to international miners or international companies. And his reason is that Burkina Faso is now capable of mining on their own. And the companies were happy about the settlement. These companies are Lilium Company and Endeavor Mining Companies. The two of them have been mining in Burkina Faso for quite long, but they are at the two sites which they have that had a problem, and that problem is between the two of them. Nothing concerns Burkina Faso government in the problem. Based on the information that reached us is that the Endeavor owe Lilium a certain amount of money, and there had been a case there. But Ibrahim Tawari had gone there and told them that he is going to settle them all the money they paid and let everything end there because the Burkina Faso is going to take over. And he settled both companies. Burkina Faso is mining right now in the two sites, which is situated at Bongo and why not in Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso has struck a deal to nationalize two gold mines for about $80 million that London-listed Endeavor Mining agreed last year to sell to Lilium Mining. Lilium will transfer ownership of Bongu and Wakneon to the West African state, which will pay Endeavor $60 million in cash, the FTSE 100 company said in a statement on Tuesday. Burkina Faso will also pay a 3% royalty on up to 400,000 ounces of gold sold from Wagneon, the statement said, a provision that analysts estimated was worth $20 million. The settlement follows controversy around governance at Endeavor in the wake of former chief executive Sebastian de Montesis being sacked at the start of this year for serious misconduct. As part of Tuesday's deal, the two companies will drop legal cases against each other. Endeavor launched arbitration in March against Lilium for missing payments, which then lodged a counterclaim a month later that alleged information was concealed and misrepresented about finances and operations at the two mines. Endeavor said, both parties would like to thank the government of Burkina Faso for its mediation efforts. Lilium Mining, a subsidiary of Lilium Capital, an investment vehicle founded by U.S. Burkinabe businessperson Simon Tim Torre, declined to comment. Burkina Faso did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The nationalization of the mines by Ouagadougou is the latest in a wave of African governments attempting to exert greater control over their natural resources as military regimes come to power. In June, the military that seized power in Niger last year stripped French state-owned giant Orano of its mining license at the Imuraran mine, one of the world's largest uranium mines in the country's north. Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger have been racked by a widening Islamist insurgency for more than a decade and created security threats to mining operations. The three countries have been at loggerheads with former colonial power France, the wider Western community of nations and other countries from the regional economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, and have forged closer ties with Russia instead. Burkina Faso revised its mining code last year to earn more royalties from mining companies following declining gold output as the long-running security crisis forced at least five mines to shut down. Endeavor Mining is a gold producer that grew rapidly through a series of mine purchases and sales to become one of the London market's blue-chip stocks with a portfolio of five producing mines across Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, and Senegal. 
de Montesis was fired for an irregular payment instruction made in connection with the sale of the Agbau mine in Ivory Coast. A subsequent probe unearthed two more deliberately disguised payments of $15 million to an unnamed third party. In Endeavor's annual report released in March, the financial value of the Bungu and Wagnion mines at the close of the Lilium deal was estimated to be $285 million, but only $34 million had been received from Lilium as part of the transaction. Analysts said that the resolution was a boost for Endeavor, given that no further proceeds were expected to be recouped anytime soon. After listening to this news, I began to praise Ibrahim Traoré, because this is the first time an African leader has put hand into his pocket to pay international companies back the amount they spent. It never happened before. And why did Ibrahim Traoré did that? It is because he knew the profit that Burkina Faso would be making. Burkina Faso will mine the good and sell the good themselves. No more an outsider. This is a great achievement. And you would ask me, why is it that other African countries are not doing this? They are not doing it because the president don't care. If you go to other African countries, all their president care is how to squander money. When they win an election, they will be celebrating. Their celebration is because of the type of life they are going to live. They will go and buy best cars, best houses, Sometimes they don't even buy for themselves alone. Many African presidents have approved for 500 pieces of Toyota Land Cruises, the SUV. Some have approved for 100 pieces of Toyota. Land Cruises SUVs and share these Toyota the Land Cruises to all his political friends. Share the Toyota Land Cruises with governors, senators, local government chairmen, and lawmakers. They do not care about good governance and the reason Ibrahim Traoré is doing what he is doing is because he cares for his country. And that is the reason he refused to approve Toyota Land Cruiser for any government officials in Burkina Faso. He even refused to approve the Toyota Land Cruiser SUV for himself. He said, nobody is going to enjoy better than anybody in Burkina Faso. Right now, he is retaking mining sites from international company and refunding them their money back. This is how a president is supposed to be and how a president is supposed to work as well. This type of president is the type Africa needs. Thank you very much for watching. This is Intervlog.